Hello folks. I'm sure you guys have seen these advertised all over the place on eBay and Facebook or whatever. It is a remote control cutoff switch for your car. Okay. The idea of it is to cut the battery power to the car so nobody can steal it. So it comes with two remotes and it comes with a a relay. They call it a relay switch, but there can't be two things. Okay, it's a relay or it's a switch. But anyway, this is a relay switch, what they call. There are the other ones that have a little digital LED reader on it. I don't understand the purpose of that because the battery is 12 volts. I don't know, whatever. It's just another thing to drain electricity out of you. But what I'm checking here is to see how when we hook this up, how it will work in your car. All right, like I said, comes in a box, comes with a couple of connectors for the battery cable, comes with a battery terminal, it comes with two little um, brass bars, all right? The object of it is to disconnect the negative side of the, of the battery, okay? So you're gonna take the battery terminal off, Okay, and you are going to connect it on this side of the relay. Put this side to your battery. So I got this little jumper box here. I'm going to pretend that this is my battery. This is the negative cable. Okay, so I disconnected it. Technically, I'm going to put my negative cable on this side now. The relay is going to go in between. All right, so you get it. This one goes to the battery the relay, then this side goes to my battery cable. Then there's two little tiny cables here. One gets attached to the negative cable, so I just looped it around and put it back on that terminal. The other wire is a positive wire. That has to go to the positive side of the battery. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what it says right here on this simple instruction here. Okay, technically, like I said, you're gonna disconnect your battery cable off of the battery, connected to this side of the relay. On this side, you're gonna use a little brass bar with the battery terminal and connect it to the negative side of the, of the battery. Run the little black wire to the same terminal. Take the little red wire, which act, activates the relay, and run it and connect it to your positive. All right, so that's the way it looks. So let me show you this. Now, I did notice that there are different types. Some are normally open, some are normally closed. And I'm gonna explain that to you in a second. All right, let me just prop you up here for a second. I'm gonna show you. All right, so I got a little voltmeter there. Right now, technically the car won't start, okay? Because it's not making a connection from the battery. Okay, so you go to start your car, it's not gonna start. So you take your little remote, okay? And you're gonna turn it on. And now it makes the connection. So now the car is gonna start. It's gonna run through the whole day, uh, whatever you have to do. And when you go park it, they want you to shut it off. So it disconnects the battery altogether. That's the key word here, people. It disconnects the battery altogether. So this is probably not good for a modern car because on a modern car, you need electricity to run the memory for your radio, the memory for your seats, um, for your mirrors, for the alarm. Okay, you have a factory alarm. This is going to disconnect it altogether. Look, you got no battery. It's like if though you just cut the cable off altogether. This is probably good for an old car an old car that does not have a electronic radio that, that needs a memory uh, to remember all the radio stations and stuff. Okay, it shuts it off altogether. Okay, so definitely for an old car, maybe 72 and down, I guess. Could be up to 74, 75, whichever does not have a uh, computer. All right, so that's what I recommend that this is for. And... Um, 
let's see what else can I say like right now like I said when it's off okay when it's off it's got no battery power it does nothing but then when you turn it on and you go use the car and you drive it I guess the only thing that I would be worried about is that all your battery power is running through this relay and this relay says it uh, takes up to 200 amps a normal V8 would probably be about 300 amps to use but between the, the radio and everything else that it, it runs. Maybe a normal car, maybe about 150 to 200 amps. But the only thing is that this relay is on all the time for as long as you're working the car. That's the only thing. I don't know if this is strong enough to hold that. Um, like I said, if you have an alarm in the car, it's not going to work because you're going to end up just shutting off the power altogether and you got nothing. Okay? There's also another relay that's normally opened. So in other words, it's on all the time until you shut it off. So it works the opposite way. So on that way, no, it's a bit of the same thing. It'll still kill your battery as soon as you shut it off. All right? So, yeah, this is probably good for an old car. It'll be a good idea. The only problem is, hey, if you're driving, this thing's dangling off your key and you accident accidentally hit this off, you know your car's going to die, right? Maybe an old car might stay alive, but uh, you definitely killed the battery. Okay, so that's, that's the other thing you have to be careful with this. Got to make sure that when it's on, keep it far away from anybody, your passenger that's going to play with you and knock that off. But it looks like it's pretty simple. Um, it does come with a connector. So it's kind of forcing you to cut your battery cable, crimp it on here, and then put it on there. I'm sure you can do a uh, Fugazi setup. You could buy a top terminal uh, piece with a threaded piece on the bottom. You ever see that? It threads into, uh, it's made for uh, when you convert a, a side battery to a top terminal. It just screws in. You can use that piece, stick it onto the cable end, and then use this bar end on the other side with a nut. You could do it that way. It's a Fugazi way, but uh, it'll probably be safer that way because that way if something does happen to this setup, you can just disconnect it, take your old battery cable with the terminal and put it right onto your battery, and you're good to go home. If you go and modify it and cut the cable, uh, you might have a problem connecting this back to the factory battery terminal. All right, so like I said, this is the basic instructions. So what it comes with. All right, like I said, they just want you to take the negative cable off the negative side of the battery, connect one side of the relay to the battery, cut the other side, of the, of the relay to your battery cable then run your little negative wire and your positive wire and then you are good to go like I said watch the meters right now it's connected so the car is running so now we're going to go and shut it off now of course you know if you want to work it the other way like I said old cars can run when you disconnect the battery it's not like you use it as a anti-theft see the car start you run outside and and uh, you kind of kill the battery thinking that the car is not going to get stolen, but it still will. All right, because the old cars can run when you disconnect the battery. So, like I said, is it a good thing to use? You could try it. I bought it just to try it out, explain it, and see if it works. It looks like it works. I'm not sure how long it will last. If you want to, I'll take this apart and show you what this looks like. Like I said, it's like a a Bosch relay, basically what it is. All right, you know how the Bosch relay works. This is a terminal 30, terminal 87, and it's an 85 and an 86. So basically, these big terminals are disconnected. Okay, that's how it, there's no power. Sort of here for a second. Okay, so they're disconnected. These two terminals are not working. But if you power up these two here with a positive and a ground or a toggle switch or whichever way you want to power it, okay, it's going to create an electromagnetic 
field and pull these terminals together, and that's how you get power. That's why right now there's no power because it's, it's, it's a part. Then when you put power to it, you can hear that click, the sound noise, closes it together, pulls the two terminals together, and it touches, and that's how you get the power. That's basically what a Bosch relay does. Okay? It's only got four terminals. Simple. Let me take this apart for you. I'm going to show you what's inside. All right, let me just clear this all up a little bit for you. All right, so here you are. This is what the basic, simple box looks like in this little relay. All right. These are the two terminals. Okay. 87 and 30. This is 85 and 80, 85 and 86. Okay. It's connected to a little circuit board. And this is the piece that's probably the, uh, the remote piece of it. Because inside, if you look over here, it's a little black coil over there. That little black coil must be the antenna. Okay. So here it is. See these two terminals here? Your negative cable. Remember, your negative cable normally comes this way, attaches to your battery. So technically, you're cutting that cable in half and you're putting this in between. So this goes to the battery. And this side goes to your battery cable. This cuts it in between. Okay, these are the two points that connect the two together to give you the power. And then this is the two wires, the positive and the negative, that's going to create that coil, that's going to pull it, and connect these two together. So basically, that's what it is in a nutshell. Okay, this is it. This comes with a little screw. You can bolt it anywhere. Okay, this shows you, explains to you. There it is here. All right, 30 and 87. You see it's it's open. See the door is open. Okay, and then when you put power and ground to this, that's an electric coil. It pulls this, that slide that door that's open. It'll pull it closed like that. And it'll make a connection. And then you get power. Okay, when you shut the power off, the electric uh, magnetic field lets go. And this little bar swings open. And now there's no power to it. So it's it, it's a pretty simple thing. Like I said, it does say 200 amps. Normally would be okay for a car. I guess the only thing I don't like is that it's, it runs all the time. Okay, so if, in order for your car to run, this has to be connected. Electromagnetic, that's going to be connected all the time. So I don't know if the terminals in here are going to be lasting long enough for you to use the car, but it's a nice little gadget. Maybe it's something you want to put in your car so that nobody steals it. But remember, putting this stuff or any kind of gadgets that you put in your car so that they don't steal, just remember, you need to lock the hood, okay? No sense putting all this stuff in the kill switches. Uh, people take their uh, ignition coil wire with them. They'll put a ground switch on a distributor. They'll, they'll do all kinds of stuff so they won't steal the car. Disconnect the battery. They got those little uh, little button switches that you take off, but then people leave the button there. You know what I mean? It just doesn't make sense. But like I said, you need to lock the hood because if you can get into that hood with all this alarm stuff, okay, if you can get in there, believe me, they're going to, they are going to put that all stuff back together and steal your car. The whole idea is to lock it so it doesn't, so you can't get to it. Same thing with a burglar, burglar alarm. How many times you have a burglar alarm? Where do you think they put the siren? right underneath the hood. So you get somebody in there like this and you rip the siren right off because you can hear it. And where, where are you going to put it? Most of the sirens are installed right here on the side of the fender. If it's not on this side, it's on that side. It's always closer to the battery. You just pull the wire and the alarm is off. So you need to lock the hood. Get yourself a nice little uh, old school chain lock. Remember the old Chapman locks? The old Maxi locks that I used to sell? That was a great thing. All right, so here it is. Try it, people. Looks like it's a nice burglar alarm. Little cutoff switch. Try it. Like I said, I'll put it in the old car that I have. I'm going to try it out. But like I said, I would definitely leave it so that you can have a terminal back on the battery in case this thing ever craps on in you. You can just disconnect it from here, put it right to the battery, and you'll be able to drive home. All right. I wouldn't modify it and cut in any of these wires. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching.
I'm going to show you a couple of samples that I saw online of, of this different ones. Okay. I'll attach them. Thanks for watching. Ciao.